Today, I'm gonna to be taking you through a 30 minute cable pulley system, upper body follow along workout. All you need for this workout is one of these home gym style cable pulley systems, or you could use a more commercial cable machine in a gym if you're following along there. I'm gonna be using two different handle attachments, one of these rope grip attachments, and I'm gonna have a pair of these single handles, but don't worry, you can make do with whatever attachments are available to you. We're gonna kick things off with a warm-up. I'm gonna use 12.5 kilos, that's 27 pounds loaded onto here for one of the warm-up exercises, and then the rest of them are just gonna be body weight. So we're gonna start things off with a straight arm lat pull-down, just getting the lats stretched out, warmed up. So you're gonna walk away. I'm gonna do this with a rope, but you could do it with a straight bar lat pull-down attachment as well. You're gonna take the tension on the plate, you're gonna reach your hips back, stretch the lats out, and we're gonna go in three, two, one, pulling down, and then reaching back up. Pulling down and across, reaching back up. So I'm gonna split the handle slightly, I'm making sure that I keep straight arms, keeping the body position fixed in. I've got quite a light weight on, but it's just a warm up. I'm gonna transition straight into some arm circles next. So finish the rep off. And then arms circling forwards. We're gonna do 15 seconds forwards, 15 seconds backwards. Now let's take it in reverse. Just good to get some blood flowing through the joints before we start this cable workout. Next up, we're gonna do a little posture exercise. So if you hinge at the hip, we're gonna go Y raises, pulling the thumbs up, making a Y shape with your arms. Turn the thumbs to the ceiling. Make sure your elbows are locked out and stand as horizontal as you can with your torso. Final one, we're gonna do is inchworms. So you're gonna hinge at the hip, reach to the toes, walk it out, walk it in, and back up and repeat, hinge, Walk out, walk in until you can touch your toes, back to the top. We're gonna to do just two rounds of these four warm-up exercises, and then we'll load some weight up for that heavy cable section. All right, we're going straight into those straight arm pull-downs. Feel those lats stretching. Feel the upper back opening out. If you need to walk away a little bit further to get a nice big stretch. Keep a nice proud chest as you pull towards your pockets with the bar or rope. Always finish that rep off. Straight into the arm circles. So just circling forwards. 15 seconds forwards and 15 back and take it in reverse. And we're gonna go onto the bent over Y raises. So technique points, locked elbows, thumbs up towards the sky. Try and get as horizontal as you can with that torso position. This is a great posture exercise, hitting the uh, mid, lower traps and rear delts. Onto those inchworms to finish the warm up. So hinge at the hip, walk it out, walk it in so you can touch your toes. And then back, just getting that back and shoulders nice and warmed up. Even when there's no hope, you still go. I never answer and know me, I still 
All right, so we've got a bit of time now to load up the weight. I'm gonna put 22 and a half kilos on. That is uh, 50 pounds for you Americans out there. And I'm gonna start off by using just a single attachment on here. And we're gonna do a single arm seated lat pull down. I might change the weight slightly throughout this first section, but you'll be able to do them all with the same weight um, if you haven't got that much variety or if you just don't want to faff around with changing them. So you're going to sit on the floor. You want to make sure you shuffle away so that when you reach forwards, the weight doesn't hit the floor. I'm going to put my other hand on the floor to stabilize. Let's go. So we're going overhand at the top and then I'm putting a 180 turn in as I row. We really want to exaggerate stretching this lat out and then reaching. Not too much rotation of the body. Always finish the rep off. Don't worry too much about the clock. Great. Okay, so we're gonna go to the other side. We've got 20 seconds off. We've got three rounds of these, so if you find it a bit light or heavy, you can always change it um, in the, after the first round or pause the video. So we're gonna overhand pull and then reaching up. Nice proud chest as you pull. Big reach of the lats as you reach up. Just got this hand for support on the floor. Great job. I'm actually gonna quickly shoot one of these five plates off for this next one when we're gonna do a cable chest press. Some of you might be able to do it with the same weight though. So I'm gonna take it in one hand, I'm gonna shuffle forwards in a slightly staggered stance. Ooh. Ooh. So I'm supporting on my knee. I've got the back knee slightly bent and I'm just pressing, almost like you're throwing a punch. Try and minimize the rotation of your body, just holding your core tight. So we're gonna take it to the other side. It was well worth taking that plate off. A little bit weaker on that than I was on the lap pull down. I take it to the other side, so I've got my leg back on the same side I'm pressing. I'm gonna take the tension, support on that knee. So I'm coming from a slight turn to my hand and then when I press, I'm flattening out to an overhand grip. So I'm going from almost a neutral grip next to my chest, pressing through to an overhand. Trying to keep my core steady. Let's finish that rep. Great. Now this is where I was gonna add that second handle. If you haven't got two handles, a rope grip will work well for this. I'll use the same weight and we're gonna do a face pull. So you're gonna pull, pull the handle apart and I want the center of that carabiner to come towards your eye level. So your elbows are pulling out nice and high. So it'll be too easy if you row it like this. This is a face pull. So make sure that carabiner is coming towards your eyes, not your chest. And you got elbows out and up. Let's do one more. 
Okay, so you've got a bit of rest time now. So I'm gonna go up a little bit on this. Get, because I can do a little bit more weight on that single arm pull down. You can just keep one of those handles attached and it'll wave around a bit. But it shouldn't get in the way too much. Okay, round two of three. The weight is swinging about, around too much. That's just because you're not controlling your eccentric lowering phase. So if you're having that issue, try controlling the weight in a little bit more. That'll be especially important a bit later on. So you can have a powerful pull, but then one, two, three on the eccentric. Eccentric, it's just a fancy word for the lengthening of the muscle under load. So I'm going to slide one of these plates off for that press. I did find the core stability element of that a challenge. I might even whip one of these handles off. Start with this side. Press. Definitely, I need this knee for stability to keep me in one place. Oh, a good bit of core strength involved today. Ooh. Ooh. Taking it to the other side. I realize I have got a cable machine behind here that I could use, but I wanted to give you an option of a workout you could do with one of these home gym ones, because a lot of you won't have a cable machine. Some of you might be following along in a commercial gym. That's fine as well. Definitely a core stability element to this exercise as well. Attach that second handle on because you've got those face pulls. So remember, you pull in the carabiner towards your eye level, not towards your chest. Nice high elbows for this. So we're going to try and target the rear delts the back of your shoulders that is and if you pull too low on your chest you'll just take over with those big lat muscles which we've already worked in the first two exercises great so there's two down got a little break one to go so i'm going to load this plate i think i'll use this plate for those face pulls as well but definitely i'm going to drop it down a bit for the chest press Put a little bit extra rest time in these workouts and that's just to give you time if you want to switch the handles or play around with using slightly different weights for different exercises. I realize it's a little bit fast paced to make the switches but I've managed it in time 
So I'm sure you can. I'm gonna up the pace so I can get a few more reps in. Faster pace. You can buy different length cables, so if you find that you, it's a bit awkward or it's not reaching or not long enough or too long, uh, you can just go online and you'll find different lengths. I'll link some in the description of this video if you're looking to get a different length. It depends what height rack you've got. Take one of these plates off. Ready for that chest press. Taking it onto the other side now. You can use anything on these. I've seen people put kettlebells as, as weights. So if you haven't got enough plates, you could, depending on what size pin you've got to load the weights onto, you could try putting a kettlebell handle through it if you're running out of load. up we've got that face pull let's see if I can switch this in time put an extra plate on for this I feel like I can coat with a little bit more yeah that's a bit better so remember high elbows it's not a seated row it's a face pull so we want eye level row with the clips. Almost proud chest as you pull. Okay, we've got a break just to give you a little bit of time to change the weights. So we're gonna move on to our second strength section now. Um, I'm gonna go down to 17 and a half kilos as my total load on the bar. That's 39 pounds, roughly. We've got four new exercises. Still doing 30 seconds on, 20 seconds off. If you're enjoying this and you fancy following a strength plan, I've got something called the gym plan, which uses dumbbells, barbells, and cables. Uh, you can use one of these cable pulley systems. It's an ebook. I'll link that in the description below. It's got uh, video demos for all the exercises and a periodization throughout the plan to help you maximize your strength. So we're gonna go a high-low fly now, single arm, pulling across your body. Ooh. As you can tell, I've gone a little bit too heavy. Wow, let's try and finish this set. Whoa. 
So I can just about keep that neat for one round, but next round I'm definitely gonna go down in weight, but I best do the same on the other arm to keep myself even. So just taking the same on the other side. Make sure you're not rounding across. You wanna keep a nice proud chest. Good isolation for the chest. Oh. Although it went too heavy, you could definitely still feel it on the chest. I'm gonna swap to a, a rope grip now. As you can see, I've got quite a long cable here. So I'm gonna have to walk away quite far in order to keep tension. We're gonna go tricep push down. You can always go to a kneeling position. If you find you've got a really long cable. As you can see, I'm swinging a bit too much. So I'm gonna control the way down and put a little pause in that contraction. And that'll just control the swing. All right. So we're gonna hit the biceps now. This is one of my favorite ones actually, because we're gonna lie on the back and we're gonna do a hammer curl. So you're gonna curl the rope. I want you to finish with the ends of the rope in line with the tops of your ears. Try and keep your triceps away from your body. So your finish position should have about a 90 degree angle between the back of your tricep and your torso. And then you've got a straight arm pull down. Yeah, I should be okay with this weight. I'm gonna use this rope grip attachment for this. So it's the same one we did in the warm up, but with a heavy load this time. So just reaching up nice and tall, straight arm until my hands meet my knees. Make sure you're not crunching around like this. You want to be nice and proud. Stick your Glutes out, proud chest. Keep those elbows locked. So there's the end of round one. So I'm actually gonna swap back to a single handle. And for that fly, I'm gonna take one of these plates off. So I've gone down to 12 and a half kilos for that fly. Ooh, yeah, that feels a lot better. So you're just pulling across until it comes in line with the opposite knee. I like to hold onto that leg for stability. You're in the bent over row style position and you're trying to keep your chest proud and squeeze the pec as you come across the body. I don't know how I did it with the heavier weight because that felt hard just with that one. So I'm going to go to the other side now. So make sure you're not doing this as you come across. You want to keep your shoulder back and squeeze the chest muscle. Let's see if I can untangle this cable. So 
switch into the rope grip. And I'm gonna switch to a slightly heavier weight. We've got those tricep push downs. I'm gonna go kneeling because the cable's quite long. Make sure you're locking your elbows nice and straight. Squeeze the tricep at the bottom. So you're not just lifting your weight, you're consciously tensing your muscle against that resistance. I always think the better you are at the exercise, the better workout you can get with a light weight. So people that are really good at the exercises don't need to use heavy weights to get a good contraction on the muscle. Got those hammer curls. Remember, it's not a row, so you're not pulling with your back muscles. You're keeping your elbows up high and curling the ends of the rope towards the tops of your ears. feels good and then we've got that straight arm pull down I'm just gonna use the rope attachment because that's what's on there but it does actually work quite well with a long lap pull down bar Well done. Okay, so there's two rounds done. Just got one round to do in this whole workout. And then you're finished. So I'm gonna swap back to that single handle. And I'm gonna take one of these plates off. And we're going for that high-low cable kind of crossover fly. It's worth at the end of the workout making a note of what weights you used for each exercise and then as you repeat this workout over the weeks you can perfect it and really get it right just for you. Hopefully over time as well you'll see those numbers creeping up as you get stronger. Let's add a plate on. I'm going to add that rope attachment on as well. We've got those tricep extensions standing or kneeling.
onto that bicep curl next. I'm doing the hammer curl with the rope. Onto the final exercise of the workout. Got that straight arm lat pull down. Like I said, if you've got one of those lat pull down long bars, it does actually work really well with that. But it can be done absolutely fine with this rope attachment as well. Let's go. Like I said before, if you fancy getting on, a proper structured training plan. Look in the description of this video and have a look at my 12 week gym plan ebook. It's very similar to how I train myself. Let's finish that rep. And that's a wrap, workout complete. Something a little bit different today. Let me know in the comments below, how did you find that workout and where in the world are you doing the workout from? I really do like to hear that. I'll link an ab video here if you fancy finishing this with a quick little ab blast and hopefully hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any videos and I'll see you soon.